As you work on a painting, you'll begin to notice that some parts of your illustration aren't looking quite correct. These situations are actually a great test of your ability because a good artist will see the problem and then begin to take steps to correct it instead of hoping that it'll just go away on its own as you add more and more details. But if you're working in Photoshop and you've got tons of layers, making a major course correction like this can seem a bit daunting. Like for instance, if I wanted to change the direction of this horse's head this late in the painting, it'd be a big issue with all these different layers I've got here. Well, in this video, I'm going to show a simple Photoshop workaround that would be nearly impossible with traditional media. So to change the direction or angle of this horse's head, I'm going to need to use a command called Copy Merged. And the way I do this is begin by making a simple selection. And I'm going to use the lasso tool here, although you could use whatever tool you want. And because of the way Copy Merged works, it doesn't matter which layer this horse's head is drawn on. So I'll go Edit, Copy Merged, and then when I paste it on a new layer, it's copied everything as if the document was flat. So for that moment in time when I hit Copy Merge, it looked as if the whole document had zero layers. And now I've isolated the horse's head onto its own layer. So at this point, changing the proportions, the angle, the size, and shape, even adding some sort of fake perspective skew, it's all easy to do because it's isolated on its own layer. Now there's going to be some extra painting I have to do to sort of clear up the seam. Maybe I'll erase away some or make a new layer and paint over the seam on top. But still, bottom line, it's way less time than erasing this whole area and starting over. So here's the big takeaway. Problem areas in your paintings they won't go away by themselves. No amount of polish is going to correct bad perspective or sloppy anatomy. So when you see one of these issues, chop up your painting. I find myself using this technique mainly once I've covered most of the canvas with color. Generally, I'll do it when I'm getting ready to start the detail pass. In this way, I'll save myself some extra time and fix these problems before they get really bad. Now this example image is actually a little further along than I normally would be chopping up the image, but it's not impossible to do it this late in the game. Now it's inherently a messy trick, because what I'm doing is I'm deviating from the initial pencil sketch or the underdrawing of the painting. But over the years I've found that this sort of large-scale course correction is well worth any of the resulting messiness. And in the big picture, it saves lots of time and heartache in the long run. In the next video, I'm going to show you a slight variation of this technique, and I'll give it a little more versatility. And if you like keyboard shortcuts, the next video is also going to show a way to throw a Photoshop action into the mix and make it even speedier in your workflow. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching.